Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Irish Japan. Welcome to another guitar lesson. And this week we're checking out the amazing Mindset by Gakarik Spin. This has been quite a challenge to learn this one. It was really outside of my comfort zone, um, but I'm glad I did it. It's uh, taught me a lot and uh, hopefully it'll teach you guys a lot as well. And I make it sound like it's hard work, but it is, but it's also extremely fun and super rewarding as well. So I really encourage you to give it a go. Uh, even if you just get through the main riff and, you know, verse parts and stuff, uh, really fun to play along with. Uh, once it starts to get into the, the solos and the crazy jazz section, then uh, it starts to get a bit brain melty. But yeah, we'll see, see how you get on. So we've got a lot to get through. Uh, so let's just dive straight into it. If you haven't checked out the cover already, that'll be up too. Link will be in the description at the end of this video. But if you're here to learn the song, then let's do it. Okay, so I'm using uh, my Telecaster on the neck pickup. Uh, if you've got a Strat, I would suggest you use the neck pickup as well. Uh, Tomozo is definitely using the neck pickup uh, for this song. Um, for anyone interested, I'm using a Top Jimmy uh, Marshall JTM 45 profile for this one. And also for those interested in what I'm drinking, I'm drinking uh, Lefe, uh, Belgium blonde beer is one of my favorite beers ever. Okay, so let's uh, jump straight into the intro. Intro! By the way, before we start this, I have not really a clue what the chord names for these will be, um, but I will do my best. Okay, so we're starting off with this chord here, which is uh, some sort of E. Uh, okay, so we're just that kind of strumming. Uh, fingering for this. Second finger, seventh fret A string, first finger, sixth fret D string, and then we've got a uh, third finger on seventh fret G string, and pinky on eighth fret B string. Okay, so that's all it is. And we kind of slide out of it, but then mute as well. Okay, and then next little bit. Okay, so it's just a little pentatonic run. Okay, so all it is is just, I'm just hammering. So, you know, there's a little chick chick. It's kind of on the offbeat. That's how you start it. And there's a kind of mute in between there as well. So all this is just seven to nine hammer on on the G, and then same on the D, and then slide down on the D, five and seven, and then five seven on the A, and then finish on the E string on the third fret on the G note, and we just finish it like that. I have a feeling that Tomozo is never going to play any of the song really the same way twice. It's a very loose song. Um, so, you know, you don't have to play it exactly how I'm playing it. I'm probably not actually playing it exactly how Tomozo's playing it, but she won't mind. You know, it's just the nature of the song. It's just a very loose song and you're just jamming. So yeah, do what you want. Okay, and then after that bit, she does this. So this is on the A string. We're going nine to 10. Hammer on. We'll do it slow there. Okay, so it's just, you know, you're just jamming away on the A string. Two hammer ons. But, you know, there's a lot of in between. You know, we're just making it funky. Down to seven, down to five. And then seven, five on the E. So after this bit. So we did this little sneak preview of the riff. So it's just open, five to seven. 5 to 7 on the A, 5 to 7 on the D, hammer on. And then hit the open again. And then same again, but without the low E. Okay, so all together slow. Okay. 
Okay. Do it up to speed again. And then right after that, we do that chord again, just one step. Okay, so I'll do all that together. And then, just like it was at the start, so I'll put all that together. And then we finish it with that kind of rhythm. And then it's three, two, one. Into the main riff. Okay, so here's the main riff of the song. Okay, that's as good as I can play it tonight. I'm just super tired. And uh, yeah, just fingers aren't working super fast because uh, you're supposed to play a lot faster than that. Uh, so all we're doing here... So, you know, just like we were doing before, open, and then it's a hammer on, 5 to 7, 5 to 7, and then we stop, and then we do it again, and then we do dun dun. Back to the open, and then we do the tail. So the first tails, first tail is um, like a is an octave. So eight on the E, so eight on the E, ten on the D, down to G, down to the third fret, and then same again. And then it's three on the A, so octave. So three on the A, five on the G, up to two frets to f uh, five. Okay, well that's the riff, you just repeat that. Uh, and then we're into the, the verse. Verse one. Okay, so this is uh, the first part of the verse riff. Okay, uh, so quite simple, it's the rhythm that's the hard part. So we're just doing octaves on five, uh, on the A, seven on the G, uh, and we're just sliding up to seven and then down to four, that's all we're doing. Okay, so the way I'm getting these kind of muted notes in between is, is I'm just lifting these fingers off slightly and I'm using this finger to mute. Okay, so it's, you know, it's just practice. You just have to kind of get that rhythm right. Uh, you know, it would take me half an hour to sort of go through exactly what I'm doing rhythm-wise, but just try and listen to it, just break it down, use your ears, and just try and follow along. Okay, and then after that verse part, we go back into the uh, main riff, uh, and then it's into the kind of bridge part, uh, pre or pre-chorus. Bridge! Um, so it goes like this. <laughs> Octaves again on seven. And then we do a little slide up to nine before we go back down to five. And then we kind of pause. And then we do it up to ten. Up to fourteen. Back down to five to finish it off. Second time, just the same. Uh, 
after that we go up to uh, 17 uh, just to finish it off that way uh, and then it goes into the bit that's kind of like na 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 uh, which you know you could you could kind of it sounds like a different part um, so you could kind of maybe call this the pre-chorus but the guitar actually does like fairly similar stuff uh, just slight differences so so I feel like she does that on these parts just one uh, ring of the notes and then up to 14 again uh, sorry then up to 10 again and then we got that just at the end there to finish it off so that's just 14 on the G 15 on the B slide up two frets and, uh, and then again it's kind of hard to tell what she does here but she stays on the 7 for a while and then I think maybe it goes up to the 14 before the chorus kicks in okay so for the chorus part we've got this So I kind of messed up there, but we'll go back and fix that mistake. We've got these uh, these major chords here. With these tails that are just like the main riff. Uh, so they're starting on the third fret. So A, A string root note on three. And we've got that, and then we're barring. With that finger, some people play those chords like this. I like to bar it with the finger and then up to the fifth fret and then the riff. Okay. I can't remember if it's the second time that she does uh, something up here. You know, she kind of does that. It's kind of like the start, kind of like in the intro. So yeah, it might be the second time uh, does that kind of little fill like we did in the intro. And then third time, we go to this chord, which is just uh, an E here. So seventh, uh, seventh fret A string, seventh fret G. Um, so similar to the chord we did at the start. Uh, just a simpler version. We just mute the D. And then just an E minor. And then we do a little. Just hammer on 5 to 7 on the E, 5 to 7 on the A, finish on 5 on the D. And then start again. And then that time, second time, this is a little thing here, like a little uh, bluesy lick. Bend up on the G, back to the 5 on the 7. 
Okay, just something like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly what I play or what she plays. You know, you just have to feel it out for yourself. That's the cool thing about this song. And then, then uh, back up to there again. And then back into the main row. Okay. Uh, and then it's into the second verse. Verse two. So the second verse is quite different uh, in that we've got these cool little uh, things that are just like, you know, just come in uh, kind of like sporadically. It's very jazzy. Uh, so we start off with this. Okay, so all that is is a bar over the 12, over the high strings, the G, the B, and the E. Okay, we're just doing that kind of strum. Just down and then and up. So there's like little pauses between all these, and then there's a slide. And then there's a... Which is an open 3-5-3 three, three on the A. Okay, so all that together. And then I think there's an open there too. Then we've got this. Okay, so that's just the same bar as we did before, except we're just adding kind of a hammer on pull off on the 14 on the high E. And then we slide down to 10. And we do the same hammer on pull off on the 12. And then down to 8. And then we play. And then we play the G. Slide out of it. And then we've got that bit that we did before. Okay, and then we've got this really kind of discordant bit, um, which is just crazy that they put this in, but it just fits so well. Uh, so all she plays over this part is like single strums. Okay, so all that is just the chords we were doing before, these major chords. So we're starting on uh, this uh, D sharp chord. So 6th fret on the A string. Down to 5. And then we're going up to 10. And then we're finishing off with up to 17 octaves. Just going nuts. There's a little bit of lead guitar there, uh, but you can't really do both. Uh, and then it's into the chorus again. <clears throat> There's this whole crazy jazz instrumental section. Uh, so let's just tackle this one bit at a time because this is where uh, this is where it starts to get tricky and complicated. Okay, so the way we end the chorus is we end it on that chord there. So it's an E minor, but with that note there, uh, which is a, an F sharp. Uh, so it's a, f a fourth fret on the D string. Okay, so what we do here is we go. So then we've got this. So here we've got. Something like that. Uh, so, so it's uh, seventh fret, A string. Uh, mute the D, and then we've got seventh fret, G, seventh fret, B. Move that down to, to the fifth fret. And then we've got this little pentatonic thing. So this is, you know, she she'll play this differently every time. So we're just kind of barring and playing multiple uh, strings here. So first thing I'm doing is hammering on, just barring uh, D and the G on the twelve. Up to 14. So just kind of back and forth. And then I'm using the pinky to play the 15 bar, the high strings. 
and then just playing the 12 again you have to slide out of it on the 12 on the on the low e there which is the hard part i always forget to do that okay and that's that first little bit See, forgot to slide out of it again there. Okay, and then after that, bass does a bit of thing, and then we do a little on the harmonics on the 12, so just lightly cover the uh, 12th fret. Okay, and then we've got this. Okay, so that's just uh, octaves again, A string root note, starting on 10. Turn to seven, and then four to five. Whoop. Let the bass do its thing, and then we do the same thing again. But we, instead of four to five, we do nine to ten. Uh, and then we've got the little uh, guitar bit. So this bit goes. Okay, so so we're sliding from uh, five to seven on the G, sorry on the D, and then we're gonna add our pinky in on the G on the seven, and then slide it back to uh, to five. You can keep the finger there; it doesn't really matter. And then all the way up to fourteen. And then same kind of thing as we did before. 12 bar, kind of barring the G and the B there. Uh, back to the D on the 14, so all together. And then we do this kind of like, uh, which is just a, you know, bend up on the 14, on the G, catch the B, here on the 15. I think she just keeps it there. Okay, and then after that, we do a kind of. Just, you know, just to kind of finish it off. It's hard to tell what she does here, uh, but that's how I did it. So, all together. Something like that. Okay, after that, the craziness just keeps going. We've got this bit. Okay, so what we're doing here is octaves, four, five, on the A root note. I can't even explain that rhythm. And then we do these bars on the the high E and the B. So 12, 15 to 17. Back to 12. And then we just do that again, but just finish on the 17. Um, and then, then we've got this bit again. But she doesn't play that. She plays these crazy chords, which the only, this is how I figured them out. Okay, so what we're doing here is uh, fifth fret E string. Then we mute the A, and we play fifth fret on the on the D. And then we play sixth fret on the G, and sixth fret on the B. So we do. So we start on the five. Come up to eight and then finish on 10. Rhythm wise, I don't really know what she's doing. <laughs> it's really confusing. Uh, something like that. Uh, and then we finish off with this. This little lead part, so uh, simple enough. Uh, starting on the G, slide up to 14, 12, 15 on the B, 
and then slide to 12. 12, 14 on the G. 13 on the B, so all together. And then 10, 12 on the G. And then hammer, uh, pull off 11 to 10 on the B. Uh, to 10 on the G. And then finish on 12 on the D. And then it's into the little piano part uh, before it goes into a little breakdown. Okay, so the breakdown here, we've just got a nice set of chords. Uh, so we're starting with this uh, D minor here. So, so it's just a bar chord, starting with the A uh, on the fifth fret. Then we've got seven, seven, uh, six on the B, and then five on the high E. And then we come down here, we do this major chord on the C. Okay, just like we did before. And then another uh, minor chord here is uh, A minor. This is the five there on the E with the two here on the seven. Rest open. So all together. Back to the A, back to the uh, the D minor there, and then we come down here. This major chord here on the first fret, A string, and then a C chord. Back up to the D minor. And then we've got this, which is. Uh, up here on the 8th fret, A string, mute the D, we just play 8 on the G, 8 on the B, and then we come down here and play an F. So that's just uh, 3 on the D, 2 on the G, 1 on the B. Okay, so all together. Really nice set of chords. Okay, so the bit after that, we've got this uh, cool funky bit. Something like that. So we're just playing like a, a E sharp a chord here. So we're just uh, on the eighth fret. And then 10 10 on the D and the G. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to lift our pinky off and put our second finger down on the 9. And then we're going to change the uh, root note to uh, an 8 as well. And we're going to mute the A. And then we go back. Start over again. Uh, and then at the end, uh, we come up to uh, 12, 14, 12 on the G, 14 on the He. And then we're 14 on the G, 15 on the B. Okay, uh, and then it's into uh, this little, it's the second breakdown, little lead part. Um, so it goes like this. mess up. It's that note. <laughs> 
Okay, so this this takes a little while to learn and practice because it's very fast. Uh, but let's go through it. So, so it starts on a, a muted note. So, but mute. So that's uh, ten, nine on the G, uh, ten on the D. Then we're going down to seven on the G, back to D uh, on the ten, seven on the G, back to nine, back to ten, and then ten on the D there. And then hammer on, 10 to 12 on the G, uh, and then 10 on the B. So all together. And then, then we just come back, 10 on the G, 12 on the D. So I kind of count that as one part, okay? So practice that bit first. Okay, and then after that, we do uh, ten on the on the B, twelve on the G, and then we hit the twelve again to nine on the uh, G. 10 on the D, 12 on the G, G uh, 10 on the G. And then it's 9, 10, 12 on the G, 10 on the B. Okay, and then after that, um, slightly different. We do a hammer on this time from 9 to 10. Then it's the same up to that point. Sorry, up to the point where I, I was stopped the last time. Uh, but then we go. So it's start. Uh, it's eleven, ten on the B. And then 12 on the G to 9 on the G. Uh, but then it's the 11 on the D, uh, not the 10 like it was last time. Which is just genius. I just love that. And then 12 to 10 on the G to finish it off. So all together that second part. And then uh, this little chord, this little chord build up to uh, start off the key change, which is just uh, just power chords basically on nine up to ten, and then it's into the last chorus. Kurosu! Okay, so the last chorus uh, is just just like the first chorus, really, uh, except it's uh, it's up a it's up a semitone, uh, you know, key change. So we're not starting on C anymore. Uh, we're starting on C sharp. Okay, so we need to adjust accordingly. So so the way we do it, the way it sounds like she does it, is just the same chords. Except she goes down to this one there. She plays the G sharp major. Okay. And then to this uh, F minor. Right, before we did the E minor, now we're bringing it up to the F. Uh, so 
and there are some little filly bits in the in between. Um, I can't exactly remember where they are off the top of my head now. <laughs> I think that's one. So we're just uh, doing uh, hammer ons uh, 8 to 10 over the A and the D, and then on the G, and then finish on 10 on the, on the G there. We'd go same, just like we did in the first courses. Yeah, we just have to shift everything up. Uh, and then that last one, which is just a uh, hammer on. So it's uh, D and the G. Then it's uh, 11 on the B, uh, 9 on the B, 8, 8 on the G, and 8 on the D. And then it's into the kind of guitar solo. Uh, guitar solo! Uh, and the guitar solo is just like a wah solo. Um, you know, it's really just going over She's just barring the uh, 12 uh, with the G and the B. And then she does the same on the 14th fret, sort of with the D and the G. And she kind of goes between the 12 here on the G and the 14. It's that kind of thing. Yeah, something like that. Uh, the only thing you had you need to do at the end is uh, this, which is just nine on the uh, G up to twelve. Up to 14, up to 16. And then after that, it's into the main riff. Uh, and then at the end, we just go. We just hit that chord at the end. Which is just the 7 on the A. Skip the, mute the D. 7 on the G and 8 on the B. And that's the whole song. So yeah, there's some mammoth uh, stuff to get through. Uh, I've yeah, I, I can already tell this is going to be a long lesson uh, just from the amount that I've filmed. Uh, so I'll try and get it down to you know something that's uh, easy to follow, and uh, hopefully you can follow along with that. If there's any questions at all, please ask me in the comments. Uh, yeah, there probably will be because it's uh, it's not the easiest song to do, but it's like I said, it's. Uh, it's quite a learning experience, uh, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you try it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around to this point in the video. Uh, I hope you, like, like I said, I hope you got something out of it. Let me know how you get on with it. I'd like to, I'd really like to know that actually. Like if, uh, if you do give this song a try, how you get on. So let me know your progress. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go to bed because uh, it's like super late and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.